My name is Judge Godzilla, and I am the judge in the case of Mary Peabody versus Virgil Goodman. This is a civil trial in which Mary Peabody claims Virgil Goodman improperly took her personal property and should be compensated. Virgil Goodman denies that he took Mary Peabody's lunch or did nothing wrong. I would like to introduce you to our attorneys on the on the defense side and the plaintiff side. They will be represented in the in these proceedings here. Here, may we have the plaintiff uh, introduce themselves and just say. Um, I am Jason Hargrave. All right. All right, Mr. Hargrave and uh, uh, defense. Hi, Mrs. Yee. All right. Um, ready to so present their opening statements. Good afternoon, Your Honor, and hello to all the jurors. I'm Jason Hargrave. Now, my client here, Marilyn Peabody, you see, has been done a grave injustice, Your Honor, by Virgil Goodman. You see, Mr. Goodman has robbed my client here of one of the most important meals of their day, her lunch. This cruel wrongdoing cost my client both her sustenance and her energy for the rest of the day. Sometimes I wonder how this, this Virgil could do such a, a horrific thing to my client, but in, and in, as well as in cold blood. Now, the defending side is going to try to do their best to save um, Virgil from his eventual doom, but there's, you can't argue with the truth. Now, um, this crime, this crime which is a theft, um, which occurred on April 17th of this year, needs to be punished. Thank you. My client, Virgil Goodman, is being wrongly accused of stealing Ms. Peabody's lunch. Let's speak. Virgil Goodman is a good student, and he might get in trouble sometimes with the teacher for making funny faces, but doesn't mean that he's the reason that Ms. Peabody's lunch was stolen. I'm sorry for that your lunch got stolen, but I don't think that it's okay for you to go around and pointing fingers at everybody and listening to every rumor that you hear. So, I think that Virgil Goodman is very much not guilty of this case. And you will soon see that Ms. Peabody has been trying to get Virgil Goodman in trouble for some quite some time. So it's not abnormal for this to have happened and she took advantage of the situation. So obviously, as you will see in the next couple testimonies, it'll be obvious and clear that Virgil Goodman is not guilty of this crime. But in reality, we don't even giggle. He just makes funny faces at me, and that's it. The whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. All right. I swear. Someone swear. Witness, you may proceed with your <laughs> testimony and plaintiff after you may proceed with your direct examination. Okay. Um, in your um, statement, you said that the... Uh, the trip in which Virgil took uh, the lunch boxes to the cafeteria took normally takes five minutes. How is that? How does that five minutes compare to the time it took Virgil to um take it down to the lunchroom? It wasn't a like giant objection. On what grounds? Because it's seen. It's a missing question and it's hearsay. Exact fact. Sustained. No, the nice counselor. Um, how did Virgil act when he returned to class? Uh, he was like giggling and uh, laughing a lot with his friend Joseph Poole. When I inquired, they refused to tell me. 